Hello and welcome to another video of Tech Analytics Official. You're on Scott with Cryptoverse. Today I'm going to talk about DChat, which is a decentralized social protocol. It sort of reminds me of WeChat of Web2. It's an open source Web3 communication protocol helping uh, decentralized users have interaction and also discover and transact digital assets within the cross chain that they have. So just uh, the features that they have, a unique selling point, they have in app chatting. Decentralized ID or DID, digital asset commerce, and uh, whether you can get info about here, privacy preservation, and multi platform. They have a whole full stack of the product, uh, which I'm not going to go through the technicality of it. And this is more of the architecture side of it uh, in terms of the clients. So the clients and the blockchain and how it works. Again, I'm not going to go through the technicality of how it works. Um, you can always go to the documentations and, you know, on the Git book and get the white paper so um you can basically here see what they do chat discover transact social media and uh, nfts you know and in a decentralized manner the product that they have and the feature now uh the in-app chatting decentralized identity and everything else now uh, in terms of uh the app itself you can go up here and uh download the application and play around. So it sort of gives you an information of what the project is about. Now, we'll talk a bit more detailed on this one for the tokenomics. So the DChat tokenomics, uh, the total is not 25 million. I think it was more. Let me check the token metrics here. Um, yeah, it is over here. Okay. The token metrics is uh, 25 million tokens. Uh, ah, yeah, they, they, did, they did change the tokenomics, that's why. So the token they have is DChat. And the utility of the token um, is uh, obviously it's a platform's token as the key currency. And uh, don't talk about, oh yeah, the DAO governance. So obviously voting and governance for the project, privilege access to the new deals that they have, socializing, group management, airdrop, Burn is just a function of what they do, staking to mine token, uh, being a super node mining because it's a protocol, and then chat to earn function. The whole white paper of the economics is here, but again, don't need to go through it beyond the scope of uh, the project. But if you're really interested, you can always go and see the white paper in further details and how the mining, staking, chat to earn function especially will work out. Uh, so, you know, staking. 1000 chat will get you 10 chat rewards and you know how it works it's, it's a pretty long document in terms of how it works so uh yeah it's not something we want to go through right now about the mining and node and things like that but if you're interested you can go through it now back to the tokenomics um 25 million tokens in total and it's going to be on ethereum and bsc the token is called chat and there will be 10 percent for liquidity market making and incentives 15% for node rewards, 5% for the team, 4% for the seed round, 16% for the private, public is 7%, community is 1%, KOL is 1%, chat to earn function and incentives is going to be 40%. Um, and as I said, payment, privilege access, pledge mining, and DAO governance. Now going into the vesting schedule of the token, there's total 25 million. And uh, as I said, it's on a BSC chain. Uh, in terms of pricing and the, uh, the 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 round, teams getting two years lock and then linear unlock for the rest of the 24 months. Uh, seed is 7% TGE and linearly released in 12 months. Private is 10% TGE, linearly released in 12 months. And public is 15% TGE, released in 12 months. So seed and private is a bit better to be honest but the uh, public gets the best first month KOL round is 50 percent 15 percent tg and then release linearly in four months so KOL is also pretty good but KOL round is a very limited amount of token uh, that's like around uh, 150k 150 or 160k of the tokens and uh, then you got the chat to end function, four years vesting, communities, uh, two years, the node rewards is also four years, liquidity is 40%, and then the re rest is released in the first six months. Um, again, you can get more detail if you're interested about the token and uh, I guess the pricing. Uh, 
think you could get info on the pricing as well here. Uh, so the price for public round is 0 0.55. The fully diluted value is uh, 13 and a half million based on the fully diluted value of here. And I think private round was raised in DexCheck, uh, DexCheck IPSO. Let's just check quickly. So if the, the private round was raised there at 0 0.5 or 50 cents. Um, yeah, so D checked 0 0.5 private round at the fully diluted value of 12 and a half million. I think Finceptor also had a sale for the public round, the private round. Let me just quickly check. Uh, so yeah, it's not a, it's not a public sale. It's the private round. But they call it a public sale for what I don't know why why some launch pads call it a public sale. It's a pre-sale actually. So it's a pre-sale to number two, and it's not actually a um public round here. So um that's a tokenomics in in nutshell. So valuation of 30 and a half million for public and private is a little bit cheaper, 0.5, and then 0.4 or 0.45 is for seed. So not a significant difference. And the first month, definitely an advantage for public and KOLs. So that's good. Uh, and it's a refundable model. So that's the tokenomics uh, side of the project. Now, in terms of uh, team and backers, let's go to the website. Or actually, let's go to the Git book if we can find. Uh, I opened too many pages, I think. <laughs> let's see. So for the DChat uh, chat team, they have uh, the CEO, James, who's from University of Hawaii and uh, has experience in the blockchain industry, has done a few projects. Andy also from marketing side of Web3. Daniel is the uh, admin for uh, the expansion and CEO of the site. And then in terms of backers and partners and advisors, they have a lot of connections to the um, the funds and venture advisory of the UAE royal family, and they get a lot of uh, partnerships as well formed with over a hundred ecosystem partners. Most of the projects I know have already partnered with them, to be honest. In terms of roadmap, Q3, they did communication and developed the API and the software development kit. Q4, sorry, Q4, and Q1, 2024, they did the testing and uh, now the DChat Pay is launching and now the IDO as well. Uh, they're going to focus next quarter on NFT and then more installation of the wallets and the DChat card. And then full mainnet is Q4 along with more million plus installations of the application. Now, uh, moving into the social side, that's one of the really big strengths. Uh, so they have... Actually, I think 400,000 followers on Twitter, if I'm not mistaken, 470 or something, uh, 460, 70 followers on Twitter. And uh, they actually get a lot of partnerships. So yeah, now partnered with ZK Link, uh, Soulbound Protocol. Um, every day I see something new, like huge amount of activity and partnerships, very, very strong socials actually they have. And then they do a lot of cool uh, activities as well. So if you go here, they now added BRC20 inscription minting, which is pretty cool functionality as well. They also opened the pool already for people who want to stake and mine their tokens in private round. So they might not have much sell pressure, to be honest, if they do that from the private investors. So um, that's the social side. In terms of launch pads, they're launching on pools, uh, on pools on the AI tech launch pad on uh, chain gpt and uh, the biggest race is going to be on down maker and chain gpt obviously followed by um, ai tech so these are all the information you need to know on how to participate in ai tech i covered it before pools also you know and to participate in the ido in um, chain gpt 15 percent tg and then rest release over 12 months for the public round 250k is the total raise and uh, the registration ends uh, today, tomorrow, after this video. And the IDO starts on the 16th of January. 
listing is planned i think for 20 around 20th to 20th uh, that week 20th to 25th around that time and uh, good exchanges have been lined up for it in terms of performance i would compare this project to friend tree you can refer to my previous video and see how they have done um uh, quite interested to see how they grow i think these guys have done further than what friend tree was doing because they've learned from them and done a lot of their work that was done post TG, they've done it pre TG. So I think, uh, and the valuation is quite similar. Tokenomics is also similar. So I don't, I think they're gonna do a very similar or even better performance to um, what Friend3 did, which I was very satisfied um, at the launch. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, please put it down in the comments as a description. And I hope you had a great weekend. Enjoy your day. See you next time. Thank you.